Political unrest has given way to a dangerous war. For the population of Iran, this marks the beginning of a painful period of history, filled with grief, pain, and confusion. For the Baha'is of Iran, this means one thing, persecution. and older sister in the town of Shiraz in the southwest region of Iran. She is a beloved teacher of children's classes, classes that she teaches at her own home. October 23rd, 1982, 7.30 p.m. As Mona is teaching a children's class in her home, she is interrupted by two armed revolutionary guards sent by the public prosecutor of Shiraz. After they ransack her home in search of Baha'i material, they take her into custody, blindfold her, and take her to prison. in her hands and stare at the walls deep in thought. After being insulted by the judge who was accusing her parents of misleading her, she gave the following reply. Although I was born in a Baha'i family, according to Baha'i principles, we have to search for the truth ourselves rather than imitate our family's ideas, and that is exactly what I have done. You have many of our Baha'i books here, and you can read them and find this out for yourself. They never insisted on becoming a Baha'i or accepting their ideas. If your honor insists that I deny my faith, I should assure you that I will never do that and that I am ready to be executed. She was immediately given the death penalty, ordered to be executed on June 18, 1983, by means of hanging. of that warm June night, she is told to walk up the steps of the gallows, the structure on which she will leave this mortal plane. After ascending the stairs, she takes her veil off, kisses the noose, and puts it around her neck. She recites a short prayer, and in an abrupt moment, she falls.
prior to her execution, in one of the many meetings with her mother held in prison, Mona once stated, If I knew that because of my execution, all the youth of the world would arise, join hands in service to humanity, become selfless, teach the world about Baha'i's ideals, and try to move the world, I would beg Baha'u'llah to give me a hundred thousand lives to sacrifice in his path. Martyred at the age of 16, an age not far off from many of us present tonight, Mona's steadfastness, courage, integrity, and faith served as the primary qualities by which one youth alone changed the course of history. A friend unknown to us all, Mona's story recalls the following words from the Master. Superior youth is characterized by strength and vigor and stands out as the choicest time in human life. Therefore, you should strive day and night so that, endowed with heavenly strength, inspired with brilliant motives, and aided by his celestial powers and heavenly grace and confirmation, you may become the ornaments of the world of humanity and pyramid among those who are initiated into true learning and the love of God.